Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0, Day 7. Happy Thanksgiving, Keller Williams. Hope everyone is having an amazing day, surrounded by friends and family and good food, good laughter. Hopefully, just having an amazing day. So, today's video is going to be short and sweet. Uh, the challenge, we're still talking about contacts, and so I wanted to go into the contact applet or sub menu here. And I'm going to show you a little bit about how to search for contacts and then how to divvy up your contacts between uh, your contacts, your leads, and then everybody together. So uh, first thing here, we have the search drop down box. You can see here if I just start searching, if I click in this box, it's going to default to everything, meaning that if I search for something like Miller, I'm going to get everybody that has a first name with Miller everyone that has a last name as Miller. You can even see I've got Kim Miller Spaulding because that's her maiden name. So right now, that's gonna bring up everything that has Miller in it. If I wanted to search for someone that had a first name as Miller, I could leave that in there and search for the first name. You'll see no one in my database actually has a first name with Miller. I can look for last name as Miller. I can see all of the 11 contacts in my database that have last name or in this case a maiden name with Miller. Um, we can also search by email. So sometimes I know this is probably hard to fathom, but you get an email from somebody, their name isn't actually attached to it, and you want to search and say, okay, do I have anyone in my database with an email that has Miller in it? You could actually type in the exact email address and search for that as well. Say, who is this marty.miller at kw.com? Oh yeah, his name is actually Marty Miller. You could get in, search my contact record, get a little bit more information about me, know exactly what I was emailing about. Additionally, if somebody's calling about an address, or maybe it's, you know, someone's calling about a listing and you don't have your MLS pulled up, but they're saying, yeah, we're calling about the listing on um, Fawn Lake. So I could get into my database and say, okay, do I have any contacts with an address on Fawn Lake? I could say, do I have any address, any contacts with an address on Cedarwood? Um, it's looking like it's not bringing up anybody for addresses. Um, so again, searching by address, and then I could go back to searching on everything. So if I put in Fawn Lake there, I'm still not bringing anybody up, but that's okay. All right, so we have the ability essentially that the main ones that you're gonna be searching by obviously are first name and last name. Occasionally you might search by email or address. In addition, when you look at this database, you see all of these people here and all of these people here don't have anything next to their name. And then quadruple A seller has that L next to his name. That means that he or she in this case is actually a lead. So that is somebody that I've either entered in my database and chosen to mark them as a lead or someone that was fed into my database, most likely through a campaign. So if you had a social media campaign running, somebody clicked on one of your ads and filled out the Facebook form, for example, they would be brought into your database and marked as a lead. So if you only wanted to see just your leads, you could click on this drop down where it says everyone and choose instead of seeing everyone, I just wanna see my leads. So now you can see I just have these leads that have come into my database. Additionally, I could say I don't want to see any of my leads. I only want to see my contacts. And then we flip the script. Basically, all the leads are gone. Now it is strictly contacts in my database. Uh, don't worry about recruits. I'm obviously a leadership team member in my market center, so I have Cloudmore access. I also have access to recruits. Great for leadership team members, um, but not necessarily for agents. So that's pretty much it today, guys. Real simple, real short and sweet. How to search for your contacts using the search drop down box and then how to filter your contacts between contacts, leads or everybody all together in one basket. As always, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. Again, enjoy your Thanksgiving. If you're putting up Christmas lights tonight, be careful and have fun and uh, send me pictures of your displays. I'm a Christmas light junkie. So uh, if you uh, feel so inclined, feel free to send me a text or an email with your Christmas light display. I'd love to check it out. Otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic day. And as always, I will look forward to speaking with you in the morning. Thanks so much.